If there was a question before, winter-like conditions are here. Freezing temperatures are set to hit the area. Add in a wind chill in the single digits, and that has Baltimore City calling for a code blue. I want to remind everyone that cold weather can be just as dangerous as hot weather. Last year in Baltimore City, there were three of our residents who died from hypothermia, which is extreme low body temperature. The city's alert is in effect from Wednesday until noon Friday. It means an increased risk for injuries, even death due to low temperatures. If people are working outside, that's going to be a particular problem because then it's the prolonged exposure to the cold that can lead to hypothermia or frostbite. But cold isn't the only sign of winter in the air. Snow is also predicted to hit the region and the state is ready to wage a high tech response. They're introducing lasers and infrared beams this season to measure air and road temperatures as well as salt levels across state highways. Much more information for us to be able to plan and to get an idea if we see something icing up to be able to respond more quickly. Response time is important, but so is effective efforts. That's why Howard County is rolling out a new snowplow tracker powered by these vehicle locator devices installed on 135 county plows with 25 more units on standby for contractors. These devices tell us location of a piece of equipment, show us when it's moving, the direction it's traveling, whether its plow is up or down, and whether it's spreading salt or other chemicals. Those snow plow trackers, Howard County officials say the goal is to have all county roadways clear within 12 to 18 hours of a typical 6 to 12 inch snowfall. Now, we won't quite see that this weekend, but with the snow we may see and the cold that comes with it, dressing in layers is definitely key. Reporting live from Glen Burnie tonight, Omar Jimenez, WBAL TV, 11 News. Omar, thank you. Now, the frigid temperatures have Maryland Zoo officials doing what they can to keep the animals warm. They have closed the zoo to the public tomorrow, but all employees who are scheduled to work are expected to show up as scheduled. And you can track the cold weather in the WBAL TV mobile app. Find out just how cold it's going to get and watch Tom's updated forecast.